So John, obviously a 2-1 defeat today sort of ends the winning run in the league. Yeah. You must be sort of disappointed. No, it? listen, um, I'm not disappointed um, when a winning run comes to an end because you always look back at the, the games you've won, but in the manner that you play uh, is always a concern. And today we never played to the level that we've played for most of the season. We've had our difficult games. Uh, mostly away, not so much at home, so our home record I think is the best in the league. Uh, but today, I think we fell short. I don't think we had enough quality in our play. We often puffed. I thought both goals were avoidable, particularly the first one. Uh, never done enough to, to win the game today. Well, obviously, on a bright note, the goal that sort of come, Sam Ling put in a great ball and she finished it well. So. No, it did, but there, there was, wasn't enough of that, you know. Like I think the last 20 minutes, I'm not going to say it was one-way traffic, but we were getting up there, getting up there, getting up there. And when you do that, and they were packing their defence, which is fine, you need the right cross, the right pass. Uh, we never provided the quality to do that. Obviously you touched on their first goal, what do you sort of think went wrong there? Maybe well, nothing went wrong, I mean there was one ball down the middle, I think with Kevin, um, Kevin Locko in their centre forward, and he was just stronger and muscled him out a bit and, and finished well. Um, but, you know, you can overcome things like that if the rest of your game is, is good enough. The rest of our game today wasn't good enough. And in the end, you know, we were, we were attacking without uh, enough quality in our play and they were packing their defence, had everybody back. And when that happens, you've got to find that the right quality. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, I think at any level, um, today I think the, the, the Chelsea-Everton game, you know, Everton couldn't, didn't really attack too much, but Chelsea couldn't break them down and, you know, you need to find the quality to, to do that. But we didn't really have nowhere near enough quality that we've shown this season. Uh, the people that we feel can provide that quality never really provided it. Um, and in the end, you know, I think we was almost banging our head against a bit more. Brilliant. And now moving forward, late in Orient, yeah. Boxing Day, you're looking <coughs> forward to that Of course, one? local derby is a great game, so next two games are good, good games. Uh, with the Orient, the, the festive game, so I look forward to it. But, you know, I think sooner we play the better. Brilliant. And they've sort of hit a bit of form as well, so... Yeah, you know, it, but you know what, I always think local derbies... I, know that I think form anyway goes out the window wherever you are. I think local times are different games. Um, so, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be in the sort of better spirits than they have been, and we've got to bounce back. Brilliant. And obviously, you touched on all the players huffing and puffing a bit. Does that mean you'll sort of make some changes over the Christmas? When I said period? huffing and puffing, I don't mean like tiredness, I just mean in terms of we were knocking at a, a door that we, we, we're not being able to open. Uh, we didn't find the quality to do it. So, um, <coughs> You know, we'll, we'll be in tomorrow, session tomorrow, and prepare for, for, for the game against Leighton Orient. But the players are fine, I have no problems with fitness with players. Brilliant, and obviously three games in such a short span of time. No problems um, to us, that's alright, that's fine. How important is that sort of run? Well, I think Christmas period is an important period. It's funny, we, the results today and the results are really weird today. don't know why that is, uh, but only concern with us, so we, we have to do better than we've done today. Brilliant. And on another note, I suppose um, Corey Whiteley missing today. Yeah, not well. He, came in, he did come in, but he wasn't well. Hopefully he'll be ready for, for, for the game on, on um, Boxing Day.